When we went to File New and we created a new project here in Visual Studio, on the right side, our Solution Explorer, these are all of the pieces of our project. And most of the time, we're going to spend our time editing um, two places, two and a half. Last time, we looked at Config XML. If you double click Config XML file, we saw this. We'll get back to this a little bit later, but here's where we can set up certain aspects of the project. What's the name of the project as an Android project, as an iOS project? We'll look at this. The homework that was given on Blackboard was about the plugins. So we'll go look at plugins in a moment. But this is the config XML file. Once we set these things up one time, we don't really need to do much in this screen. We set up the name of our project and all of that one time. We don't have to do much in this file. We'll do most of our work inside the WW folder. But before we get into that folder, one other place where we spend a little bit of time, but really just once, is this res folder. I believe it stands for resources. If you open up this res folder, resources, here are various subfolders for various icons and screenshots, or splash screens actually, for your project. If you open the icons folder, there are then folders <coughs> to set up icons for the different platforms. By default here, we can target Android devices, iOS devices, and Windows devices. If you then open, for example, the Android folder, I've got some icons. And if you hover above these, Visual Studio will show you a quick icon, a quick preview of what that icon is. So if you manage to get this running on a real device, if you look in your screen where all the apps are installed, you will look there and you'll find an app called Test2 with an icon with that icon, the icon in this folder, these, these folders. You didn't change the name when you went to File New. When you went to File New, it asked for the name of the project. You might have left it as blank. That's OK. That can be changed. But I changed mine to Test 2, and I see that name Test 2 under my icon. And we can change that right there. So under my icon, I've got the name of my app. And my icon on my device is this icon right here, one of these. This is uh, four icons of different sizes for different devices. I've got a smaller device, so probably it's using the 36 pixel icon. If I've got a newer, better device, it may be using the 72 pixel size one. If I've got a, you know, a high quality device, it may use the 96 pixel one. Later, we will change these icons. I'm just showing you, make a note, and I'm going to have another handout for you a little later. Uh, that kind of puts this into one file. Right now, our app has the generic Cordova icon. I want my cool, amazing icon of my cool, amazing app. We will have a lesson later on where we use Photoshop. How many of you have ever used Photoshop before? Lots of people. So we're going to use Photoshop to make icons for our project. If you've never used Photoshop, that's OK. We're going to do a quick crash course in Photoshop. Numbers or pixels, right? Exactly. These are the these are the pixel sizes of our icons. Thirty six by thirty six, ninety six by ninety six okay. square. Extra. You have an extra one? No, it says like extra high def. Maybe extra high def, exactly. What, how do we, oh. So we have low, def. low definition, middle definition, mm -hmm. high def, extra high def. So we have these different size icons built in. Later with Photoshop, we'll change these to have our own icons. We'll have a lesson on making icons. You see the same ones, basically, in iOS, but a bunch of other ones. Because again, it's a little harder on the iPhone, but they can get away with it because they are so powerful. Here, we have these different sizes. Um, now, for me, because my screen is so small, this properties panel gets in my way. You can either close a panel or you can unpin it or auto-hide it. 
my properties panel. I don't really need to look at it, and I want to show you more. If I click X to close a panel, I have to bring it back from the window menu. I would instead click that little thumbtack so that, that, so that any panels you don't want to look at can be auto-hidden. You can bring it back. I just want to show you a little bit more on my panels here. Are those numbers kind of to look by, or are, are those customizable? Number, these numbers, we, sh we should make our icons of these numbers, yes. We shouldn't drop in an icon here that is 99 by 99. We should follow the icons here. This one that says icon small, I can't tell what it is from here, but we can tell elsewhere somewhere, probably under properties. Uh, we'll be able to tell in the folder as well. But later, we will replace these icons with real icons, and we will need to create a bunch of them, especially for iOS, of these different possible dimensions. Some of them, for example, are 40 pixels for a regular iPhone. Some of them are 40 pixel double, double size for retina displays. And there's even one for like triple size for like iPads, iPad Pros and such. So we need to create a bunch of different variations of our icons for iOS, less of them for Android. And if we look over on Windows, they've got different ones as well. These names of these files also, we should keep these file names. We could change these icons to be windows-150.png. We could change the names of our graphics if we want. But then we have to change code elsewhere because we're going to break the path to that file. So later, we'll basically just replace these icons with icons we make in Photoshop later and we will replace them with the exact same file names and then when the Visual Studio compiles the the app it'll find your new icons and replace the built-in one. If you back up we have icons and we have screens. Open up screens for a moment and in there we see Android, iOS, and Windows. And inside of Android these are the splash screens icons or graphics that you see as your app loads up. You've probably opened plenty of apps and for a moment there's some sort of screen, you know, maybe the logo of the company or the logo of the app and then the app loads up. Those splash screens are very useful because those usually display while stuff is processing in the app to get ready for you to use it. So we will use splash screens as well. Yes? Can they be GIFs? No. These should also be ping format. This is the best format to use because ping is tr has transparency like a GIF, but it has 24-bit transparency, which means not just a simple uh, on and off transparency, but a whole gradation of transparencies. Which Although we can't use animated GIFs. Yes, yeah. So we have to use plain old static pings. Yes? Uh, this company, like Samsung, Apple, Google, they pay to the this company to bring their icons here, or nope. This one is uh, this one is free. These icons that we see are from Cordova, and Cordova is a free company, a free project, so they don't have to pay for any of this. So nothing free in the board. How is possible? A lot of job for Samsung. They make, they make their money in many other ways, advertising. So later on, we will replace these icons. We need screen, splash screens, high definition, low definition, middle definition, extra high. Landscape and portrait size. Later on in Photoshop, we will design some icons, some splash screens, horizontal and vertical that will load up during our app preparation. Over on iOS, there's also not as many, but there's ones for iPads and iPhones, different dimensions, retina size, and so forth. And then on Windows devices, we've got a few of them, too. It's kind of interesting that they didn't really use the Cordova icon, but they did put a placeholder graphic that we would then edit later. See what else? Native. Don't worry about the native folder. 
So the only folders we really need to care about then later, the icons for the app, the, screen, the splash screens for the app in the res holder, the config options for the app. We set those things one time, and we don't really have to bother with them anymore. And almost all of our work, all of our effort, will, will be in the www folder. So, um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, take a quick break. And um, once we confirm that this is all working, uh, we're going to start to play with uh, some plugins. We're going to set this up to take a photo on, from the device. We're going to set this up to check GPS on the device. So at 7.15, we'll take a break until 7.25, and then uh, we'll go on.